Afternoon to you. Didn't even want to comb through the hair this morning. I planned on going to the pool. Called my grandfather to see if he wanted to go, and he says it's raining down there. So I'm going to go west instead of south into town, hopefully not get wet. And uh, I got a few things to, to ship. Um, i going to go to the bank. Razvan said he might want to get lunch, so we'll try to do that. It's 2 o'clock. It'll be a kind of a late lunch, and we'll go from there. Welcome aboard. All right, take two. Saw that coming, got the car home. So uh, I got about two thirds of the way there. Black clouds come out of nowhere. So I guess now we'll try this car. Welcome to Ohio. It rains every single day here. Actually, it has rained every day since June 20th. It's about three weeks. Hello there. It looks like a 5.30. There we go. And a 5.50 GT. Okay, just finished things up at the bank all deposited and whatnot so now i gotta go to the post office and then we gotta go to walmart or my mom said the honda dealer will recycle transmission fluid i still i still had that fluid from the differential and transmission fluid and this honda steering wheel you turn like 70 times to get the car to move four degrees it is ridiculous um yeah although the transmission and differential fluid that i did on the m5 a month ago it's still been sitting in my oil pan in the garage. Oil catch-all thing, so I'm finally getting rid of that. Okay, step two of three, done. Dropped that off, it was prepaid, so that was nice. Not having parking sensors is really weird. And the steering wheel that turns like 40 times lock to lock, it's crazy. And then the windshield wipers that you have to manually operate based on how much it's raining is a huge pain in the ass to I guess you could call me very spoiled. It's a red E36 M3 convertible. Nice find. And they're painting all of the light poles and all of the metal poles around here in Hudson that red color there on the bottom. Uh, that one over there is all done. I think I may have liked the black better. It doesn't much matter, but it's kind of weird they just randomly up and decided to paint all of those. Coming up on that E36, it's going to make a left which it should be doing now, because that Ford is turning. But it's not. It's waiting for the bike. There it is. Don't see a lot of those. Stage three complete. The guy took the oil from me. I even got to walk around in the air-conditioned showroom for a few minutes. They have a nice Civic SI in there, just like Chris's that I filmed. I don't know, whenever we got the two-intake ridiculous thing in the uh, Impala. Um, glanced at the new Accord. Unfortunately, they only had a four-cinder model in there with 185 horsepower. I, I don't know. I feel like, you know me with the BMW example, a 320i produces about that from a smaller engine. I feel like Honda needs to strap some turbos on there if they're going to make such a small engine. But it is only a $27,000 Accord, I suppose. Only $27,000 for a Accord. But, all right, that's it. I'm going to head back now. See what else needs to get done. I got those three things that have been pending for a while out of the way, and that's nice. So I'll talk to you later. Guys, check it out. Do a little bit of work here today. On the Impala. Oh man. The exhaust system is down and out. Right there. And where's the part? There's the part we're putting in. Alright, there's our hardware guys. Alright, you're good. Right there. Okay, ready for that. Looks like it needs to stretch a little bit. Yep. Alright, we got that on. And it should sound normal, and it does. Is there any leak, or can you hear? Yeah, listen for a leak. No, not really. That sounds fine. I don't feel anything. That's good. Yeah. Oh, a little bit in the back. I do. A little in the back? How much? We can tape it. Not too much, but we're going to want to tape it. Alright, we'll duct tape it. Yeah, yeah, we'll... Alright, turn tape, it please. off. Okay, she's open now. This should be a little bit louder. Really? Oh, yeah, that's louder. Oh, God. <laughs> you 
definitely hear a difference. Yep. Give it. It's the Impala. Boom. Damn, that exhaust. You can hear it from inside. Oh, this is loud. <laughs> okay, on the highway here. Yeah. You should be able to hear inside. Definitely more potent than before. And that's how you're paying for dinner. <laughs> yep. Waters. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh my god. I want to see people now. Yeah. Oh my god, this is fun. There's no people though. Nobody being able to see us. And you got, you got your maps very freaking there. Your iPad. Nice. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> Big GPS, it's like a Tesla. <laughs> oh my god. Two intakes and the uh pull the flower. Pull what? Oh yeah, you can see the cable. Well, thanks to the diverter, pretty much just put that in for uh, about 18 inches. Under there, as you saw before. Oh, the night is over at Brad's, moving the bends in the garage. It's still raining. C300. I think it's low. Sweet. Good morning, it's 2 o'clock, now on Tuesday the 9th. Uh, the 8th was Alex's birthday, happy 18th. Can't wait to see you in a week, it feels like you've been gone a month. Um, so happy birthday. Anyway, here uploading Steven's 2003 535 speed video to E39 source, check that out. It will certainly be up by the time this is up, because that has three minutes and the vlog still has to export, and it looks like it's gonna be right around eight and a half minutes or so. So today we worked with the Impala, that was fun. I wanted to go to the pool, but that didn't work out. I got a lot of little stuff done around the house again, so I guess that's progressive. Tomorrow will probably rain again. Uh, let's see, yeah, rain, rain, and then it looks like we break Thursday. Hmm. Yeah, so Thursday, we'll, we'll aim for that. Uh, I'm gonna try to try the pool again tomorrow. We'll see what we can get done. So go watch E39 Source, and I'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Did I say Thursday? We're going to the pool Thursday, but we'll try it tomorrow. All right, good night.